Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad up touch to the latest iOS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. In your settings, you're going to see the first option up here. Just go in there and manually make a backup using iCloud. If you have no more iCloud space, don't worry about it. Hook it up to your computer and use iTunes on PC or find there on Mac in order to make that backup. Also, if you're having any problems, use your computer in order to update your iDevice. Anyways, once you've done that, just scroll down until you guys see general. Under general, second option will say software update. Under there, we should see this popping up. This is the latest update. We can read more about it and what it does. However, at this point, we're just gonna tap on download and install. It might ask you for passcode if you have one. Once you put that in, the downloading process will start. Now, during the download process, doesn't matter if your iPhone, iPad, or touch turns off on you. No, it doesn't. However, it does matter when it's installing the update. Once it's installing the update, make sure it doesn't turn off. So. For that reason, I always suggest, although you might have already 50% of your battery, just hook it up to some electricity and just let it be. At this point in time, we could just leave our iPhones, iPad up touches, hooked up to some electricity, downloading, and then it's just gonna install the update by itself as long as it's hooked up to some electricity once again. Now, like I mentioned before, we can always tap on learn more to view exactly what this update's all about. However, even in there, it doesn't tell us too much about it. So you can always click on the link. But for now, I'm just going to click on done. And yes, it is a small update. So this will probably download for most of you pretty fast. All right. So after two to five minutes, we should see it download already since it's pretty small. We can go ahead and tap on install now. It's just going to restart. We're going to see an Apple logo and a loading bar. Like I mentioned, it's just going to restart. We're going to see an Apple logo, a loading bar. That's going to go pretty slow. And then we're going to see a second Apple logo and another loading bar. This one's gonna go a lot faster. By now you would be five minutes into the installation. All right, so at this point in time, we're all done. We can just swipe up, put in our passcode, and that's it. We can also double check that everything went okay just by going back into general update and seeing that it actually got installed. So here we are, we have the latest iOS installed, and that would be it for this video. In total, your runtime for this update should not take more than 10 minutes. Yes, with older devices, it could take a little bit longer, but no more than 10 minutes. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.